Welcome in, everyone. In this edition of the Metroid Dread series, we're taking a slight detour and doing something a little different as we look towards the final couple sections of the game. Today, we're recreating the main theme and title screen of Metroid Dread. I'm excited to get into it, so sit back, relax, welcome to Arcade Redux. When I started this series last year, I wasn't quite sure where it would ultimately end up, and to some extent I still don't, but what I do know is that this has been a really fun journey of looking at a soundtrack that I wasn't particularly fond of and recreating it as if I was tasked with composing it. It's been a challenging and stretching experience, and I can look back and see how I've gained just a deeper understanding of what goes into writing a video game score, as well as growing as a musician and a composer in general. If you're joining for the first time, this is a little bit of a different episode, so I would definitely recommend checking out the earlier videos in the series to get a better example of what it's attempting to accomplish. Like I said, there are parts of this project that have changed over time, mainly due to the feedback that many of you have given, and this video is really a product of that feedback. And I say that because this series has evolved from a simple musical exercise to a legitimate version of the soundtrack that many of you are eager to see completed and used as a mod for the game, which I didn't originally consider, but is now essentially the end goal that I'm working towards with these reimaginings. And with that goal in mind, the main theme wasn't actually something I would have ever thought needed to be reimagined, and the reason is simply because I think it's perfectly effective as is. I thought from the first time I turned on my Switch and booted up the game that it encapsulated everything this game is supposed to be about. In my opinion, Metroid games have always utilized an extremely effective theme that sets the tone for everything about to take place. The title screen presents this great opportunity to sort of tease the player as to what they're getting into when they hit start. Whether it's the dark graphic scene as you boot up Super Metroid, or the organic and suspenseful first notes of Metroid Prime, there's an element of mystery and excitement that you can feed to the player with the first musical cues they'll hear from the game. And Metroid Dread, in my opinion, is no exception. I love how this melody, that you'll be very familiar with if you've played previous games, can take on such a different tone by changing the context around it. You feel immediately on edge and a bit spooked by the slow, steady bass synths that relentlessly push the theme forward, and what I think really drives it home is the minimal kick drum percussion that almost simulates a heartbeat. It's really a perfect start to what the intended emotional response of Metroid Dread was from the beginning, which to me is that feeling and horror of being hunted, and I really couldn't think of a better way than this original theme to create that feeling. So see you next time. However. As I pondered the current state of this reimagined soundtrack, and the goal of it eventually coinciding with gameplay, I realized I needed my own title screen, my own first impression. A way to demonstrate to the player not just what type of game they're about to play, but what type of soundtrack they're about to hear. And how could the first impression of this recreation be the original that I'm attempting to improve? So when it comes down to it, even though I love the original, I believe this is an important piece of the puzzle, almost an overture of what is to come, and it needed to reflect the ideas and elements I'm bringing to the table as a composer. And ultimately, with my version, I really didn't take a big departure from what the Dread composers created in the original. One thing I did do differently was a slight harmonic reinterpretation of that melody, which for the non-music folk just means I changed the chords. And it's a subtle thing, but I think with a little bit of chromatic movement that you'll hear in the bass, it gives my theme a little bit of a unique flavor, and I think it expands upon the sensation of dread. I also briefly referenced some ideas from within the game, as well as musical ideas from previous games, so keep your ears open for those as well. Similar to what I said about Berenia, when it's all said and done, I don't necessarily consider this a stark improvement, but I do think it's a better representation of my recreated soundtrack for this game, and for that reason I believe it's an important part of this series. And so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this reimagining of the Metroid Dread main theme. <laughs> 